Hello, welcome to another video by Mox Marine. In this video, um, I'm going to show you how I uh, made sure a, uh, one of my Delco EST kits will fit on an older Mercruiser 2.5 with the uh, Mercruiser Digital Ignition. I think it's called DDIS or something like that. But um, So basically, the customer asked me if um, I could sell a kit for, the, for his engine. And I said, well, I need to know two things. I need to know, one, the timing curve, and two, I need to know if the distributor, my distributor will fit inside the engine. Um, the distributor, I believe, will fit. I'm 90% certain it will, but I will find out uh, shortly. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the gear size and the shaft and all that kind of stuff in a second. But um, the more important thing is the timing curve. So what you're seeing, the lines on this sheet, are this is the factory timing curve he, that the customer sent me for a Mercruiser 2.5 with a digital, digital ignition. So the lines you see are the curve. Uh, there's a max and a min. The max and min got cut off, but there's a maximum limit and a minimum. And the uh, this curve is without the base timing at it. So you just, if the distributor is set to zero timing, this is what your time would be. But the base timing on this engine is eight degrees, according to the uh, the uh, information the customer sent me. So if you take the middle of these two curves, which is 18 degrees at the high end up here, the high end up here is 18 degrees in the middle of those two dots where the arrows are pointing to max and min. And if you add 18 at eight, you get 26 degrees. So that's what the X, the top X right here, that X right there, I made a mistake, put it in the wrong spot, but that X right there is 26 degrees for this, for the system, the digital system. And then I plotted the X's. I went ahead and added eight. I went through the middle of these two curves and added eight degrees to every one of the middle values. And I, that's, that gives me the X uh, chart here. Those X's that you see are the uh, eight degrees added to these curves plotted. All right, so that's your total timing of this system with the uh, base timing added in with the distributor set to eight degrees. So then after I got that plotted, I went back and got the Delco EST curve and uh, so the, the Delco EST curve, EST curve was a maximum of 21 degrees at the highest RPM, which was 4,600. So that would be this dot right here. That's 4,600, lines up right here, 4,600. So that dot is 26 degrees if you add five degrees to everything on the Delco EST curve, all right? So then I took the Delco EST curve and added five degrees, and that gives me each of these dots all across here. So as you can see, the curves pretty much almost fall on top of each other. There might be one degree off at the most, um, all the way down until you get to about, right about when you get 20 degrees, then the Delco starts to be a little higher than the, uh, the uh, Mercruiser Digital. So at um, 1,000 RPM, the Delco system is, um, let's see, eight plus 13, five degrees higher. Um, but, the thing is, at 1,000 RPM and 1,500 1, RPM, the Delco system is about two and a half degrees higher than the digital system. But at 1,000 RPM and 1,500 RPM, the load is so low, you'll be way out of that range of RPM pretty quick. So there won't be hardly any load on the engine at those RPMs. You'll be way up past 2,000 by the time the, uh, the, load, the load on the engine gets significant to where the engine starts making power. And so by the time you get to 2000, the curves are almost on top of each other. So um, so my point, the entire point of this uh, conversation here is that if I take the Delco EST system as it comes and add five degrees base timing to the factory, to the, uh, the manual for the Delco, it will get me almost identical curve to this digital system. And so that's what I'm gonna, if, it, if you really wanna be a little cautious, you can set it one or one or two degrees lower because remember, when I plotted this, I went through, I was plotting in the middle of these two. So the middle is about two and a half degrees from there to there is two and a half degrees. So I've got two and a half degrees, pretty much a, a leeway that I could play with. So um, like right there, the Delco is one degree higher. So you can maybe set it for two degrees less and you'd be you'd below that by a degree. But I think it'd be fine as is. So if I take the Delco system and add five degrees to the base setting. so. If you look at the Delco system, which I'll put at the end of this video, I'll put the timing curve for the Delco system. Um, I believe it, uh, we'll say the initial setting was minus two. So if you set the setting on this to positive three, that'll be five degrees more. Positive three degrees of, of a base timing will give you the curve you see in the black dots. And that should work with this engine. All right. So that pretty much discusses the uh, timing curve. I'm now gonna go get a stripper and take some measurements uh, or hold a ruler up to the distributor, the gear, the shaft, and so forth. 
so that the customer can see if uh, the distributor, the uh, digital, the Mercruiser digital system doesn't have a distributor per se. It has a, what he, what's called a speed sensor. I call it an RPM reference sensor, but it's basically a, a sensor that goes in the hole where the distributor is, and it doesn't have a distributor cap on it. It's just a sensor to, de to detect engine RPM. So I'm going to go and get a ruler and measure the distributor, and then uh, I'll uh, put that on the video. Okay, this is a Deco EST distributor for a four-cylinder Merc Cruiser engine, and I'm showing some dimensions here. So I'm going to put the tape measure here. You can see from the uh, from the flange where the distributor uh, sits down to the end of the gear is about four and five eighths of an inch to the end of the shaft. The shaft diameter itself is let's see, get this uh, focus. It's uh, not quite half an inch. It's probably about I'll have to measure that with something else, but I'm guessing. It's Three uh, seven sixteenths of an inch, maybe. Um, it's three eighths. It's more than three eighths in between seven sixteenths. So I think seven sixteenths is four point four seven five. I'm guessing it's point four three something, but uh, I'll measure it later. So the gear is five eighths of an inch tall. The teeth are five eighths of an inch tall. The diameter approximately is about one inch. So pretty close to one inch in diameter. This body is also one inch in diameter. Uh, that's no coincidence there. Um, let's see what else is there. Um, the depth of this to where the gear, where the uh, body stops is one and it looks like just a tad under one and five eighths of an inch. Um, let's see what else was there. Um, Let's see if I can count the number of teeth. Let me turn this thing to where it's, let me count teeth. So I'm gonna count the teeth on this gear, starting with this circle. And let me count again, starting with this one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 teeth, so there's back to 14, or that would be the number one again. So 13 teeth is what I count. I'll do it one more time. Between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I get 13 twice, so 13 teeth. So it's 13 teeth on the gear, back to this circle here. All right, um, I'm gonna put the timer curve of the Delco EST system on here. Um, not so sure the diameter of the shaft matters. You, it, as long as you got it close, it probably should work. Because um, gear, what matters with the shaft diameter is whether the gear fits. And since the gear is already on here, the shaft, the diameter of the shaft is not like, really not that um, important. All right, uh, that wraps it up. I will put the uh, again. I will put the uh, timing curve for the Delco EST on here at the end of this video.